Rolo printer, definitely recommend it. Super easy to set up, super easy to use. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Uh, we are in the eBay room this morning. Uh, it is Tuesday and it's about 9.30 in the morning. We're getting some listing done. Uh, we're getting some pictures, all that good stuff done and, and uh, trying to get these wrestling figures up on eBay. Um, I hope you guys are all doing well this morning. Don't forget if you're new to the channel, my name is Tyler. Uh, I'm a part-time reseller out of Texas. I go to garage sales, estate sales, thrift stores, Facebook marketplace, you name it, to find deals on, uh, to sell online for a profit. Um, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe down below, like the video and comment. Um, we'd love to have you. We appreciate you stopping by and enjoy the video. Uh, for those of you that aren't new and welcome back. Um, so we have all these wrestling figures here. As you guys saw in the last video, we picked all these up. I started looking these up, just like each one by itself, and I have I have some pretty rare, valuable ones. I mean, they're not like stupid valuable, but they're valuable enough to not put them in a lot. Because like, because just for instance, like this one here. So this one here was worth about fifteen dollars. I could list this in a lot. You know, what if I put it with? This one, and this one, and this one, these four in a lot right here, and it sells for 20 bucks. There's three three extra figures in that lot. I had I didn't even look up the value, and they could be worth more, you know, I could only get 20 bucks for, for the lot in an auction, and then, um, you know. So what I'm doing, anything valued over $15, I'm going to list by itself. Anything valued under $15, I'm going to list in a lot. So once I, once I look up five characters that are under $15, I will put them in the photo box here, take the pictures, and then list them as a lot on eBay up for auction. What I'm doing is I'm kind of, kind of a similar thing that Lonnie did with his, um, if you guys watch Lonnie, uh, Lonnie did with his Hot Wheel cars. I'm basically uh, padding them up with some bubble wrap over there, uh, padding them up. And then this one is WF01. And then this one is WF00. This is Bam Bam Bigelow right here. Or, yeah, I think his name's that, Bam Bam Bigelow. But uh, he was worth about $30 by himself. And then this one is Sting, uh, Sting from 2015. And uh, ult what's the ultimate, ultimate something um, from 2011. There's a couple lots. On eBay that already sold with those two characters for $24.99 so I put those two together and, and put that lot up for $24.99 plus shipping so it's it's uh I think we're gonna do really well with these now granted um, some of these may be long and uh, you know long-term items that sit on eBay for a while um, I really don't know I've never sold action figures like this before I've sold action figures but not wrestling action figures so what I'm going to continue to do is just look these up, uh, find the value of each one, make piles, and then the ones that have significant value, uh, you know, 15, 20, 25, 30 dollars, I'm listing those right away. As soon as I look it up, I find out the value and I put it on eBay. Uh, the ones that are under 15 dollars, I'm going to put in a pile over here and then make little lots with those. Uh, I think that'll work out well. And if it doesn't, we can always delete the listings and, and if they're not selling, just put everything in one lot and get rid of it and, and, and see what happens. But I think these will sell. Um, I'm not going to price at top dollar, but, I'm, but not yet. I'm, I'm not going to bo uh, do bottom dollar. I'm going to be somewhere right in the middle on the value and yeah, get those up on eBay. So super happy though um, with the value that these are turning out to be. I only paid 50 bucks for all of these here, guys. All of these here. Our our money back is right there in the drawer, and all of this is pure profit. So we also have the two rings, which I think I'm going to put up uh, just for like, I looked up a few rings that were going for about anywhere from 15 to $20. So I'm probably gonna put both of these rings up um, on eBay singles as singles. And uh, I think I have boxes perfect size for those. And, um, yeah, so I don't know. We'll 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 see what happens. But um, yeah, it's been a good morning, and uh, 
You may notice the new hat here. I wanted to wear it in the video. I know it doesn't match my clothing, but um, I got a, a postcard here from More Collections. I actually I actually bought this hat from them. Uh, Commonwealth Flipper or Picker um, shouted More Collections out on his channel. And so I went to their store. Um, and this is during the um, shutdown. And I went to the store seeing if I, maybe I could purchase something from them to help them out. And, you know, you know, just show the love a little bit. And uh, more collections. Thank you for the nice postcard. And um, St. Gildan is very beautiful. May have to visit there someday. So uh, pretty cool. Thank you for the postcard. Thank you for the hat. I really love the hat. I'm an avid golfer, guys, for those of you that don't know. Um, I played high school golf all the way up through high school. I started playing golf when I was four years old. Uh, fell in love with the sport and been playing it ever since. So could have went, could have went, uh, probably could have went somewhere big uh, right out of high school, but I decided to choose a different route. And um, yeah, so that's a long story. <clears throat> that's a story for a live stream. So, but anyways. Um, just getting this stuff listed. Uh, I'll bring you guys in from time to time if I find anything like you know worth the value. And and then also I'm going to do a listing with you guys here in a minute. Um, I'm going to do a listing with you guys to kind of show you how I'm listing these and how I'm how I, how I know which one when it sells, which bags it which bag it is in over there. Uh, I'm not putting it in the SKU. I'm actually just going to put it in the title. So yeah, I'll go ahead and show you guys. So like this one here. Okay, it's Bam Bam Bigelow. Let me get this to focus here. There we go. So if you see at the end of the title there, it says WFOO. That is in the bag over there, WFOO. This one was worth about 30 bucks, so I priced it in between uh, at 27 15 plus shipping. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. He's a Walmart exclusive, that's why he's worth a little bit more. But that's kind of how I'm doing the titles and the listings. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of work. Well, yeah, it's, it's going to be a lot of work. But that's one thing I'm not scared of is work. I'm willing to put in the work to make the money. So I'm going to go ahead and get some more of this stuff knocked out. I'll bring you guys back in when I have a few more things knocked out and kind of give you an idea of how the separating the pile is going and how many we have on the lower side and how many we have on the higher value side so um yeah enjoy the rest of the video all right guys so we got the um the rest of the figures the wrestling figures we sorted them out kind of looked them up uh there wasn't a ton that were worth um you know above 15 or 20 dollars there was a few um but what i decided to do was break them down into lots of 15 and throw them up for auction starting at fifteen dollars a dollar a piece um so i think i think i should do pretty well with these what i did was i threw them i did uh medium priority boxes and 15 fit perfectly in these medium priority boxes so what i did was i had three lots of 15 and i have like um probably 20 characters by themselves that i'm gonna sell in singles only uh, not in lots because they're worth a little bit more money, but these three lots here we got WF05, 06, and 07. Uh, these three lots here are, are already up on eBay for auction starting at $15 a pop. Uh, we'll see how they do. I did a seven day auction on each and every single one. Uh, I charge shipping on all of them, so we will see how they do uh, $15 shipping on each and every single box. So basically it starts out at $2 per figure, which I think um, after all said and done, I would imagine that each one of these boxes may sell for around four to $5 per figure, uh, depending on, it, you know, I may have missed a rare one and there could be a hundred dollar figure in one of these boxes and someone else spots that on eBay and they, jack up the price on the auction so that's the good thing about auctions and having a market like this that is big and that a lot of people follow uh, because when they go on ebay and they start looking at these auctions 
um, you know, if they spot a rare figure, they're going to start bidding. And then someone else spots that figure, they'll start bidding. And then it starts a bidding war back and forth over that one single figure in that 15 item lot. So that's kind of what I'm hoping for. Um, I don't really know um, how this is going to do, but I expect it to do pretty well. The other thing is the two rings over here. I have a ring there and a ring over there. Uh, what I'm going to do with those is probably try to sell those locally. Um, I'm going to put them on eBay. I'm going to look them up, see how much they're worth. Put them on eBay. If they sell on eBay, great. But I'm also going to list those locally uh, to see if I can't flip them locally. Then we also have these here. These are accessories like tables, a chair, a couple of extra jackets here. I didn't know which figures these went on, so I'm just going to lot all of this stuff up here. And there's a belt here as well. So I'm going to lot all of this stuff up right here together and throw this in a lot uh, and try to get rid of that as well. If you guys can see there, also, we got our brand new Rolo printer installed uh, that came in yesterday. Uh, once I get the new bench in here, this is going to fit perfectly on the far end of the bench right down here to where the wife can use it as well. But yeah. Rolo printer definitely recommend it super easy to set up super easy to use and um, it prints labels very well so let me uh, show you guys let me mark out the addresses here but yeah it it, it prints labels very well on a four by six I the reason I bought a new label printer guys is because I was using a Dymo 450 which print the, the two inch by seven inch labels and the thing with the Dymo 450 that prints the two inch by seven inch, whenever I do FedEx or uh, it is a um, out of country shipment, uh, like a worldwide shipment, you have to print a four by six label. So what I was having to do was I've ha I was having to email it to my computer and then print it out, uh, email it to my wife's computer because my computer won't connect to our printer for some reason. It just keeps giving me issues. So I have to email that to my wife's computer, print from my wife's computer, and it's just a hassle. So the money was definitely worth it for the Rolo printer um, to be able to print four by six labels. But uh, yeah, well, you know, it is what it is. We got um, a ton of stuff listed today. I've also got some video games listed. Been doing that as well, cleaning video games and getting that listed. This is what we got left in the box here. So not too crazy. Um, this here, this is what we have left in the box here, uh, probably about 50 games or so. So we've got most of them listed. Um, there was a few that were just severely scratched. I tried cleaning them and they just would not fix. There was a, I think there was probably three so far out of this bunch. So that's, I'll take those odds any day. 150 games, only three have been bad after I cleaned them. I will take those odds any day of the week. So super happy with that. Um, but anyways, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Maybe I gave you some insight to wrestling figures. Search up on Facebook Marketplace in your area. See if you can find some, because they will sell. I already got an offer for the Bam Bam Bigelow. Uh, someone sent me an offer a minute ago for $18. I declined it because it's like a $30 figure, and uh, like five or six of them have sold in the past month at 30 bucks. So I'm just gonna wait for the right buyer, and uh, they'll pay full price for it. But, you know, don't take low offers, guys. Be patient. You'll get the money you want for them. If the market shows that it's worth that amount of money and it's selling at that amount of money, there is no need to, to accept an offer. Here he is again. He just sent me another offer. I'll show you guys. Hang on. Um, so he sent me a offer for 15 He sent $14. Then he just sent me another offer for $15. I'm going to decline it. I mean, that's just, I, I've got the, I've got it at $27.15. I listed it right in the middle. They were selling for around $28 to $32. Um, $27. So he's offered me $12 below what I asked for it. Uh, review offers. I'm going to decline. All right. So 
I just said sorry. Uh, it sells for around $32. I think $27 is fair, and I declined his offer. So I'm not in no rush to sell these guys. We're doing really well on eBay right now. A lot of our stuff is selling pretty quickly, and I'm not going to rush anything, man, because this stuff will sell. I, there, the market's there. There's plenty of people out there that want this stuff. There's no need to rush and accept offers that are super low. So I'm not going to do that. But anyways, um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to get these two rings up on eBay. I'm going to also get this lot of uh, accessories here up on eBay. And then also, I'm going to finish these last couple of single figures. There's, a, there's three here that I have that are worth a decent, decent amount. These three here, and then we have two figures from 2003 that I'm probably just going to lock together. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool. I'm also going to put this casket here. I think that goes with the Undertaker, but I'm going to put this casket right here with the uh, figures there. And then list these here, list the two rings, get those boxed up and put away, and probably list some more video games, and then call it a day and go spend some time with the family. Uh, it's my morning to cook breakfast, so I'm going to cook a huge breakfast this morning. Probably going to do fried eggs, bacon, and cheese sandwiches. So, I make the best, man. I make the best fried cheese, uh, fried egg and cheese and bacon sandwiches you'll ever eat in your life. So, um, yeah, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hope everybody's doing well out there. I hope you're staying safe. For those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Tyler. I'm a part-time reseller out of Texas. I go to garage sales, estate sales, thrift stores, you name it, to find stuff to buy to resell online for profit. If you're new to the channel, we'd love to have you. Subscribe down below, like the video, comment, whatever you want to do. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.